My dad told me to just walk home so I did. It was the worst mistake of his life. A long time ago in the far away year of 1999, I was a young 11-year-old boy finishing my last year of elementary school. Right before my birthday my parents called the family together for a meeting. They told us my mom had gotten a new job and we would need to move. We weren't moving too far away, only about an hour, but that still meant moving away from my friends and going to a completely different middle school than the one I thought I'd be going to. Elementary school wrapped up and we moved to our new house in early July. In August, my parents and I got to take a tour of the school and meet the principal and some of the teachers. That was when we learned that there weren't any buses that passed our new neighborhood. It was actually close to the school so that meant I would be walking to and from there every day. My parents weren't too thrilled about this but it was only 15 to 20 minute walk and there was a path so they came around on the idea pretty quickly. At the time, both of my parents worked full time and five days a week. My mom worked Monday through Friday and my dad worked Monday through Thursday and Saturday. Trust me this is relevant. Since my older sister was away in college full time and they didn't trust me and my brother alone, my parents found a babysitter to be there when my brother and I would get home and watch us until my parents got home. The